Hello, my name is Matt O'Keefe, and I'm the Interim Assistant Vice Chancellor of Global Learning at Missouri S&T. And I welcome the opportunity to speak with you today about what the capabilities and the programs are at Missouri S&T for distance graduate education, something that's very important to us and is something we've been doing for a number of years. Founded in 1870 as the Missouri School of Mines, Rolla has been a technologically based university for a very long time. Currently, there is record enrollment. 8,600 students are involved or enrolled in the university. Of those, 6,600 are undergraduates, but 2,000 are graduates, and over 40% of those graduates are enrolled through our distance program. We have 40 staff that help provide that support needed for the graduate education program. We deliver our programs throughout the world and the country and have different students from states and countries across the globe. Our graduate education started with an internet-based delivery system about 15 years ago and was done by other methods including satellites before that. But in the last 15 years, we've had approximately 2,900 students complete their graduate program, PhDs, master's, certificates. And in, if you include the ones that will be graduating in May of 2015, we'll have over 3,000 students that have com successfully completed our graduate distance program. It's a very significant group. It's a group that, as you'll see, has very, been very pleased with what we've done. And I think it speaks to what the quality and the education that people get through our distance programs. We asked our current students uh, what they would say to one of their coworkers about Missouri S&T related to the distance education experience. And in an essay form, they said overwhelmingly, 88% of them, we would recommend others to take this program. So if you have questions or comments about what's going on with Missouri S&T and distance programs, the best thing I could tell you is ask a coworker. Find somebody that's already currently in the program, and I think you'll get a very favorable and very good response from them. One of the other questions that we asked was, going through, what features do you like about our distance program? And we, please be aware, we call it distance. It's not online. It's interactive. It's people teaching and learning. One of the things that really resonated with almost half of the current students is that about the ability to take the classes in a flexible manner. They can take them real time, they can take them asynchronous, they can watch them at night, they can watch them in the airport, they can watch them as they're going in their very busy lives. Because the vast majority of our students on the distance side are going to be working professionals. In addition to the flexibility of the schedule, there's also the people part of it. The professors, the technical support, the student support, the people of those 40 in the organization, as well as the faculty, that help make you be a success. This is an interactive ability that we really think is an important part of the overall experience of taking distance education through Missouri S&T. Academic quality is what makes a program, including things like accreditation, which our university and campus has been accredited for over 100 years and has the specialized accreditations and things like engineering that ABET does. The content and degrees are the same as on campus. Rest assured, when you get a distance master's from Missouri S&T, it shows up on a transcript the same as a, an on-campus student. There is absolutely no difference. And in fact, you're taking the classes much at the same time. So there's a class here in, on campus, as well as those who are taking it by distance. It's the same instructor. It's the same exams. It's the same transcript when it's all said and done. We offer almost 200 distance classes per year, per semester, and even more per year. We like to provide that variety to do with that. And as much as possible, we try to keep the class sizes as small, although with the growing enrollment, that's actually becoming a bit of a challenge. Your instructors, by the vast majority, will be tenure, tenure track faculty. In some cases, we'll use adjuncts who provide a certain degree of specialization that we can't otherwise provide. There's a lot to, to be said for that instructional capability and the interaction between the faculty and the students. 
The student experience is what is important. You are a student of Missouri S&T, and we want your experience to be as positive as, as can be. That personal attention, whether it's the technical staff on presenting the distance ed to the staff that does the academic advising, they all want you to, to benefit from their experience and their knowledge. You have access to things like the library, as well as our Career Opportunity Center. You're a student, and we have, have those capabilities and those services available to you. And once you do graduate and become one of those 3,000 that join the Minor Alumni Association, you can network with those in your area. You can join a section in the U.S. and hopefully stay connected through that. There are details in Appendix B for information related to admissions. Distance graduate programs themselves. This is how we distinguish ourselves in many cases from other programs across the country. There is aspects to how we deliver it, whether it's through WebEx, Blackboard, video conferencing, streaming media. We recognize there are many ways of doing this and we try to provide all of those to you at any time so that it's as convenient as possible for you to get the, the course knowledge. We have a very good facilities, high definition studio classrooms that present this material in. We have a great staff of professionals that work on this. In addition to the staff in global learning, we have those who are in the instructional designers that work with the faculty to put together programs and courses that address how things need to be presented through an online or distance format. And it works out really well. That personalized student support services and the ability to ask and do that is, is the way that we think is important, the important aspects of it. And that interaction is not just one way, it's two ways. If there's an instructor giving a, a class and going through and you're able to take it in real time, you can call in and ask a question. You can call in and pose that. Or if you're not able to do that at the time, we record and, and archive these so that you can hear what the questions were asked over time, what the other qu students in the class wanted. And in some instances where the classroom is here on campus and the instructor is somewhere else, there's an interaction back and forth in doing that. You need to think about things like, as being done right here, the chalkboard becomes a virtual tablet. But once done writing, that can be recorded, stored, and viewed later for other purposes. Distance graduate programs are, are a tremendous asset, and the technology has made it very accessible for the working professional. The degree programs themselves. Typically, it'll be 10 courses or 30 hours that go through. You can get a dual MS degree if you would like. PhDs, again, there it's possible. You have to work with your department. And in all cases, you're getting a degree through a department. And in some cases, you'll be able to transfer up to nine credit hours. Again, address that with your department representative or graduate coordinator. The degrees that are currently available are listed here. Notice that there are many in engineering. They are not exclusively engineering. We have some in, say, geotechnics. It's a master's of engineering. That's the ME. The industrial organizational psychology and technical communications are ones that we have just added within the last year. And the others you might, mechanical engineering, manufacturing engineering, may be more familiar with. But again, you get a degree, it is put on your transcript, and it shows up the same as any other student that goes through our program or on our campus. Graduate certificate programs, typically the students who come into them will come in as a certificate. And a certificate is a four-course sequence that enables you to get a certificate in a specialized area. If you look in Appendix A, you'll see there's over 50 different certificate programs that are available. Once you complete that program with a B or better average, these classes, those four classes, will then roll over into the master's program that you need 10. So you would need six additional courses at that point. The advantage of coming in as a graduate in a certificate program is that it doesn't require a GRE. In other words, you don't have to take the graduate requirement examination and going through with that. You can also transfer some up to three credit hours from another university, and in some cases, and in many cases, a company project may count toward one of those courses. So graduate certificates are really a very popular, and by the, by the numbers, the most often used method for getting into the graduate program through distance. 
in terms of where we're at in, for this year, <clears throat> the summer session will start in June of, uh, 8th of 2015, and in the fall semester, it'll be August 24th. We always like to have those applications in as soon as possible, but recognize with working professionals, sometimes that's not always possible. So you can register up to two weeks into the classes, but recognize those have already been going on, so we encourage you to do that beforehand. What do you need in order to apply? Well, if you go through the regular program straight into a master's, you need all of these six things that are checkmarked here. The application transcript, statement of purpose, GRE, letters of recommendation, and a resume. If you choose to go into the graduate certificate program, you do not need the last three, which again is a reason why so many people choose to go through that. If you're interested in applying, you can do that now online at connect.mst.edu slash apply, and you'll be able to go through that program and see what is needed. But again, remember, if you're going to graduate certificate program, you really only need the last three. So we implement these. We're always here to help. Certainly, we encourage you to either contact myself or to contact Vicki Gibbons. Vicki is the student specialist that has worked for over the last 15 years with all of those 3,000 graduates. Vicki is a tremendous resource, and I strongly encourage you to reach out to her with any questions or comments you might have. Thank you for your attention, and we look forward to you being a student at Missouri S&T.